This ship is a work in progress. All stats and attributes are subject to change. What you see now might not be what is released. Exciting news, everyone. We have a new Italian ship on the way. The Giulio Cesare is on its way, and that is how it's pronounced, or close to how it's pronounced. Maybe not exact. An Italian person would be able to say it a lot more beautifully than I can. But that is pretty close to how it's pronounced, as I have Italian friends and in-laws who have both verified that I am somewhat in the ballpark. But my American accent does not do the full name justice. But moving on from that. We've got a winner to announce for the Kaga. You all are probably interested in that. The Kaga goes to Fujiko Tonks. Congratulations. A little behind on that. A winner has been drawn for the Belfast. I'm trying to reach out to that individual right now, so that should be awarded shortly as well. If you want your chance at a ship, I'm giving away another one, of course. Details of my key giveaway. Yes, that's correct. I'm giving away the Battleship Key, which has just come out. Details of that are in the description of this video. Be sure to get entered again. Entries are open for two weeks. There are multiple ways to enter in, but that is that. On to the Italian battleship Giulio Cesare, a tier 5 Italian battleship making its way to the game. First, let's talk about the ship itself. As I said, it's tier 5. It's got 45,500 hit points. It's got a maximum firing range of just over 16 kilometers. For its guns, it's got kind of a unique gun setup here. It's got two triple turrets and two double turrets that fire 320 millimeter shells. It's got a pretty capable anti-aircraft complement as well. A maximum speed of 27 knots. Once again, very generous for a tier 5 battleship. Only a 640 meter turning radius with a 17 second rudder shift time. Surface detectability is 13.68, but I was able to get mine into the 11 kilometer range with the full complement of captain skills and camouflage. So there you have it. Those are the key stats to the Giulio Cesare. But I'm going to delve into it a little deeper right now. And for this preview slash review, I'm changing things up a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have actual metrics upon which I rate incoming and prior ships by. There are now six categories that I'm going to rate ships on. Looks, weapons, durability, handling, fun factor, and overall. This is to give you a better idea of how I think these ships stack numerically. Everyone likes numbers, right? Five stars, two thumbs up. So that is what I'm going to be using from now on. Those are the categories I'm going to be using. And it's going to be on a scale of 0 to 10. So let's get started with the Giulio Cesare. We'll begin with the looks. This is a beautiful ship. Like all things in Italy, it's, it's done right. It's sleek. It's sexy. Just like their vehicles. Just like their women. Which I married. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the camouflage is beautiful as well. You've got that barber pole on the front of the ship. The air identification stripes which it adds to the ship as well. I mean, this is a modern-looking Tier Five ship, even though it was built in the World War I era. In my mind, it's kind of a little similar to the Graf Schwe and its looks. I, I think they share some similar traits, both in their guns and just the layout of the ship and everything else. So it's a very sleek and beautiful-looking ship. You won't be disappointed having this thing in port. It's, it's not like you've got an October Revolution or some other ugly premium sitting around. So, looks, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. It's, it's almost perfection at Tier 5. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be rating these categories up against Tier 5 ships. It'd be unfair to do so against higher tier ships. Weapons, 10 out of 10. And the reason for that is the dispersion on this ship is absolutely insane, especially if they keep it the same. I don't know if they will as this moves towards production, because at Tier 5, I argue there are no better or more accurate main guns at the Tier 5. I, I just don't think so. And you've seen in this video, you, you, you've noticed just the destruction of the cruiser at the very opening of this video, just the arc... The shot grouping is insane on this thing. I, I haven't witnessed anything like it in Tier 5. And it just makes this ship an absolutely deadly cruiser-wrecking machine. And 
it helps against battleships as well, especially against higher tier battleships, whereas normal tier 5 battleship dispersion would not let you do pretty good against higher tier battleships. Weapons, 10 out of 10. This thing is insane. No, you don't have torpedoes. You've got a decent complement of anti-aircraft guns, which do pretty good against tier 5 aircraft carriers. So it really negates the air threat as well. Moving on to durability, again, 45,500 hit points. That's generous, but normal for a battleship. You're not invulnerable in the Cesare. You're, you're not. But against other tier 5 ships, you're going to hold your own perfectly fine. If multiple battleships start ganging up on you, you're, you're going to take some hits. Again, she, she's not completely squishy, but she, she is prone to damage. So not the most durable battleship in the world, but also not the spongiest. So I found even when I was angled against tier 6 and tier 7 battleships, I, I was definitely able to hold my own. Uh, the Nagato at tier 7, normally you would think you'd be afraid of if you're fighting in a tier 5 battleship, but I found that I was able to hold my own perfectly fine until, of course, you flatten out just a little too much and you take some serious damage at that point. But because of the accuracy of this ship's guns, you're also able to inflict lots of damage. And I was taking out 15,000 hit point chunks against the Nagato. In a tier 5 battleship, that's pretty darn good. So durability overall, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. While she's not invulnerable, she can definitely hold her own, in her own tier especially. Moving forward, let's talk about the handling a little bit. This is a fast ship for a tier 5 battleship. She cuts through water like butter. Her turning's decent as well. So for handling, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think for a tier 5 battleship, you really can't ask for a lot more than what the chess RA has given you. And that leads us to Fun Factor. For Fun Factor, I'm giving the chess RA a 10 out of 10. Why? A tier 6 battleship in tier 5. What's not to like about that? And that's basically what this ship is. I honestly think that this ship should be tier 6. I, I think they could move this ship to tier 6 and not change a thing. Though I will caveat that if this ship was a tier 6, it would have some serious issues against tier 8 battleships. I don't know how she would hold up against the tier 8 heavy hitters like the North Carolina. How they're going to change this ship, and, and I know they're probably going to change it a little bit because if they don't, we're looking at another Nikolai. How they're going to change it, I suspect that they're probably going to tweak the dispersion. I really hope they don't. I really love this tight shot group. I really love this awesome dispersion on this battleship, and I hope they keep it as is, but I, I just don't see it happening, because in its own tier, the ship is just so insane with its accuracy, its guns, and everything else. We'll see what happens, but fun this ship is. I mean, phenomenally fun. Overall, this gives the Julio Chessare an overall score of 8.8 .8 out of 10. Yeah, that's pretty close to 9 out of 10. Pretty close to perfection. I mean, in Tier 5, this is probably, at this point, the deadliest ship you will find. I can't think of another ship that offers as much firepower as this, as accurate as it is. Again, will this ship remain as is? We just don't know. I can't tell you right now. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't heard if there's going to be any changes. Don't know the time frame for release either. But based upon the playtesting of the ship, I can't imagine that it's going to remain the same as is. And obviously, if it changes, I will update my scores on this ship that I've rated 8.8 .8 out of 10. But right now, I haven't heard anything. And as it stands, I would say that the Chess RA is a must-buy. If it comes out as is, it's probably going to be another Nikolai ship where they release it and once they pull it you're never going to see it again just because just because it's so accurate and devastating I, I mean I don't think I've done less than a hundred thousand damage in any round I've played in this absolutely beautiful battleship so to wrap things up again looks 9 out of 10 weapons 10 out of 10 perfection on its weapons in tier 5 durability 7 out of 10 not invulnerable does perfectly fine in tier 5. Up tiered, you might find yourself in a little trouble if ships focus fire you. Handling, 8 out of 10. Fast for a tier 5 battleship. 
Fun factor, 10 out of 10. This ship is an absolute blast of play. And overall, 8.8 .8 out of 10. Guys, there you have it. The Giulio Cesare coming at some point in the future. Tier 5 Italian battleship. Again, check out the description of this video. Make sure to get yourself entered for another awesome battleship. The key, which has just been released, won't be in stores long. So be sure to get it if you want it or roll the dice and see if you can win one. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. I wish you good fortune all the wars to come. I am out.